14 accused of terrorism in French teachers' beheading. The tragic beheading of Samuel Paty, the French secondary teacher, sent shockwaves th through France and throughout the rest of the world. Paty was brutally murdered by an extremist in October 2020 for showing a drawing of the Prophet Muhammad published in the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. While the murder suspect, a Chechen refugee named um, Abdullah Anzorov, was shot on the scene by French authorities, the case is far from closed. French prosecutors are now seeking to convict 14 suspects related to the beheading, including uh, Azorov's friends Azam E and Naim B, who are accused of helping him by accompanying him in buying a knife and driving him to the school. The National Terror Crime Prosecutor's Office has recommended charging six adults and six children for alleged offenses uh, connected to the killing of Pati. As the trial continues, all eyes are on France as it seeks to bring justice to the victim and his family and to send a message to extremists everywhere that such heinous acts will not be tolerated. So I thought that this was really important to cover because obviously the, you know, horrific beheading of Samuel Paty is something that um, really shook the world in 2020. Um, I, I can never get because his his killer beheaded him on the streets of a paris suburb for doing his job as a french civics teacher in teaching his students about the values of the french republic which include the freedom of speech even including the freedom to blaspheme and for that he was beheaded in the streets and his murderer posted a photo of his beheaded head on the pavement before he was shot dead by police and I will never be able to get the image of his head on the pavement out of my mind. And this was a huge moment for France because this was also happened to be during the same period of time which they were putting forward new legislation to help prevent what they identify in French as Islamic separatism, basically. Um, and this, this heightened that desire for that kind of legislation. Um, but Armin, I actually want you to play that video that was in the um, middle of the story. Yeah, because I think it will give us yeah, some really good context to talk about. It's muted. It was an act that shook France. On Should I put it on full screen? Yes, please. It was an act that shook France. Oh, no. It's not letting me. One second. France. On the 16th of October 2020, Samuel Paty, a history and geography teacher, was stabbed and decapitated near his school in the Paris suburb of Conflans, Saint Honorine. The killer, Abdullah Anzarov, was an 18 year old Russian of Chechen origin who had become radicalized. He murdered Paty for showing cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in class. The Office of the National Anti-Terror Prosecutor is seeking trial for 14 people over his killing. The most serious charge, complicity in a terrorist murder, has been recommended for two of Anzorov's friends. They're accused of helping him to obtain weapons and accompanying him to the school on the day that Paty was murdered. The prosecutor also recommended charges of association with terrorists for six other adults. They include a radical Islamist preacher and the father of one of Patty's students, both who insulted the teacher on social media. The father that um, kind of was accused of inciting this violence. Mm -hmm. Inciting the hate campaign against him. Mm, okay. Six other minors are also in the spotlight, five of them for identifying Patty to his killer, as well as the student at the center of the tragedy. She is accused of slanderous denunciation after she lied about being told to leave the classroom while Patty showed the cartoons. She was not in the class at the time. Magistrates will decide if the 14 are to go to trial. They face sentences ranging from five years to life if found guilty. Wow. So what do you think about that? 
because when this happened back in 2020, I remember us having a very heated argument about the role of charging the minors that were involved with this. And it looks like they're going Uh, forward with facing trial. Many of these people who are minors at the time. It says that minimum five years, the children could get five years for identifying um, the, the, the target to the killer. So no, the, the of the 14 people who are facing charges and trials, they're all facing slightly different charges and trial, slightly different mm-hmm. charges. So which punishment comes with which charge? I don't know. Mm. Okay. It says ranging from five years in prison. Um, what, what do you think? Do you think it's fair to, because like, I'm, I don't know what exactly happened. I'm imagining the killer coming in. And there are kids there, and the killer saying, "Where's, where's this guy?" And they identify him. Do they, did they know that the guy is gonna go and kill him? I don't, I don't know enough about the context. Depending on the context yeah. and how that happened, you could very much be fully culpable in someone's murder, depending mm-hmm. on how that happened. But you could also be completely if, innocuous, mm-hmm. completely Wouldn't ignorant say, of what's like, happening. Can't you just say that, well, the guy had a knife. I, I was afraid for my own life if I didn't answer. Like, isn't that the guy? Well, we don't know if that's how it happened. We don't know if he showed yeah. him the weapon to the children, if he if he threatened them into identifying him, if, whatever, whatever. We don't know those details. That will probably come forth during trial. Do you think it's fair to accuse the father because the father, like, had a campaign against them? Like, that's, like, I think it's a stretch to suggest that he was planning for something like this he was inciting mass hatred and violence yeah, against but not this man violence he, did he mention violence i, he didn't I mention believe anything. that i have seen some reports suggesting that there were calls for violence again this is all in french so my ability to go find this information is limited mm. i want that to be clear to our audience right um but yeah, he he orchestrated a hate campaign against him. Honestly, the person that but I hold most culpable for true. this is the teenage yeah. girl who lied about seeing this cartoon. She lied about being forced to see it. She lied about her participation in this class. She didn't attend. She wasn't a part of this at all. And because of this, a man has been beheaded. His children will never have a father. Well, I mean, you, um, I know you what you mean, but just to be clear to our audience, you mean... The most cul- culpable after the killer yeah himself yeah okay. i know i know you, you mean that but i just want to make sure that we say that um but none of this would have happened if it wasn't for her yes yes but again the intention matters when it comes to like the intention these people's intentions were not to get this man killed i don't think you know so i don't know if this fair i mean they what they did was wrong and disgusting and should be condemned the intention was know. to turn an entire community against this man it, there were messages going out and being popularized but, throughout local mosques but not to behead him yeah that's sh- crazy. Maybe, to, maybe to shame him which again i'm against all of that right the guy the guy didn't do anything wrong right but maybe the intention was to shame him maybe the intention was to get him fired maybe the intention was to make him scared even but I don't know if the intention was like, oh yeah, let's the guy, let's get the guy beheaded. I think that's pushing it. I don't know. I don't think that's fair for us to assume that. And I, I, I would bet against it. And I don't know. I don't even know if it could be like, do we want to punish people based on what happened? Like, if they would have given a less than less punishment if they didn't intend this, and something like this happened, like they didn't control. I don't know how to say this. Like, shouldn't how much your intentions match the conse- consequences be taken into account when it comes to giving out a punishment to somebody? Anyway, I have, we have to ask a lawyer. Mm. I think intent matters. I think when it comes to punishing people, intent matters. And if you can't show intention of these people uh, trying to get the man killed, I think that they shouldn't get as severely punished. I don't even think they deserve to go to jail for this. 
Well, it depends. It depends on their culpability. I mean, I don't know how the French justice system works right, but attentionality is very important when it comes to American justice system, especially when it comes to manslaughter versus, you know, m- murder in the second degree, blah, 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 blah. So if, if, there, if there is any similarity between the two, you know, judiciary systems, then that will come into account. Is it actually similar? I don't know. Obviously, I'm more familiar with the basis of British common law, but... Mm. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.